Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, beautiful. Today's Thursday, gorgeous. Friday, Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Looks like between 78 and 82 and sunshine the next five I minutes. love it. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we are excited about it. Um, thankfully, yesterday wasn't too crazy with the rain. Just kind of damp and overcast mostly yesterday. Candy? Yeah, we got a walk in. It wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of nice because it was breezy and not the sun wasn't baking on our heads. So, not yeah. bad. I believe I actually saw a glimmer of sun I yesterday. I saw a glimmer of it. Just a glimmer. Yeah, for like 10 minutes. That was about it. So, uh, I'll tell you what I could not get out of my head all day yesterday. And I want to thank you for it. Oh. The picture you sent me of you. I son. told you, don't now. Don't. <laughs> what? Keep looking at that all day. <laughs> you can't. I can't unsee it. I didn't go back and look at it all day. I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. He's, he's, uh, he's a model. The kid's a model. He could be a model. And he really could. So yesterday on the show, uh, Candy texted me a picture. Her son Evan sent her when he was recently on vacation in Puerto Rico. Yes. And he's standing like like on like the cover of, of uh, some uh, model magazine. He's in Truly. the water. Yeah, he's in the water. He's got his Speedo on. Oh. And uh, glimmering in the sun. That's the second time today I've used the word glimmer, by the way. Yes, it, it, it shows his profile with sunglasses on. Yes, uh, very much so. Now, the one thing I was surprised about, because my family listens to the show religiously. Did you and share that picture with no, them, too? I did not. <laughs> I did not. I was surprised they didn't ask for it. Oh. Because, you know, we talked about it, and I made it clear I was not posting it. It's the, It was not, not only did we not have your son's permission, but we, you know, I'm like, it's not my picture to post. I'm not doing Exactly. It. But I thought I'd get at least one text from Amy or my father. Send that picture over. Let, you know let, what? <laughs> Maybe they're really not listening to us. Did no. Did you ever think about that? No. I thought of, I, I'm telling you what happened. They heard us describing the picture. And they said to, you know, you don't want to see that. Well, it's not that they don't. I think they want to see it. I think they were embarrassed to ask for it (laughs) because this is not a typical picture. This is your son in a Speedo in the water. With looking, uh, even you know, I gave, I can't even believe I gave birth to him. I mean, (laughs) there's muscles all over the place. I I don't know what's Uh, going on. Yeah, maybe I'll just uh, randomly send it to them without them knowing. They'll no, just wait. don't do that. Okay, all right. We're not going to send the picture. We won't. Well, if they really want to see it, I mean, what's the big deal? Well, It's no, a beautiful picture. It is, it is. But uh, yeah. anyway, it, we've talked uh, quite a bit about your son. Yeah, Let's a talk little about, too much. How about Casey and Jackie? We are, today is September 8th. Their due date is 20 days away. 20 days. She's teaching right now. I think this is her final teaching week. I think Friday's her last day. That's good. Then we go home and we baby wait. And, you know, they're just nesting. They are nesting. Uh, so are they cleaning the house, making sure everything's oh, good? Oh, he already painted the nursery. They ordered the furniture. Everything's uh, ready to go. Now, are uh, we starting... Been, you know how you nest, you full... Well, yes, I remember... I... Yes. Do you remember nesting? I remember uh, Dana was cleaning. She was supposed to be on bed rest. And she right, was, cleaning and yeah. folding everything and putting everything away. And then you look at it. I would go in every day and open the drawers and say, oh, where's my baby? Yeah, it's fun. Well, the good thing about the first three to five or six months is you don't really have to baby proof the house because they're not going anywhere. They're not, they're not walking, moving. Right. They're not, they're not moving. Right, uh, but about uh, five six months, you gotta you gotta make oh, sure. Believe yeah. me, I'm sure. Now the big question is, you know, mm. they have that Bengal cat Elsa. Oh yes, who is completely miserable and unfriendly, and I wonder how they're going to get. You know, Elsa's going to react to the baby. They've been playing crying tapes of a baby for her to get used to. Um, she reacts like a mama, kind of. She's curious to see what it's all about. But that's what I'm wondering. How is she going to adapt? That is interesting. And has the cat, I'm saying this, this is a serious question. Has the cat shown any tendencies to 
scratch or jump at people or anything like that. No, 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 no. Just okay. very standoffish. Okay, all right. Then uh, maybe maybe uh, everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll I think be it'll good. be fine either way, but, you know, it takes a little adjusting. I'll never this forget. This was their baby, okay? They had a stroller for the cat. Right. Uh, listen, you're They talking... had a leash, like they're going to take the cat out for a walk. You're... So that cat isn't going out for a walk with you. I understand you're explaining that to the audience, but if you're talking directly to me, remember you're talking to someone who used to dress his Yorkies up in jogging suits. When I first <laughs> met you, I could not believe it. <laughs> So Pink, something's wrong with this guy. Pink jogging suits. Okay. We used to take them out to Tanger, Electra and Tony. Of course. Oh, my little babies. And people used to go berserk oh, for they're them. They're adorable. But then the babies come. And suddenly, they're not as cute anymore. I will never forget. And, you know, we lost uh, many years, eh, many years ago, maybe f uh, four, yeah, about four years ago, four and a half years ago. Roxy, our puggle. So um, cute. When we brought Leah home, Roxy was amazing. Like, the most protective. She would lay next to Leah and just looked over her. And Aww. it was... Yeah, she was a good girl. She really... She was. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm sure the No, we'll see will... how they all adapt. But it's getting very exciting now. It should be exciting, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you, and uh, we will discuss more. You know, we have to, every day, we have to go a little uh, further in depth to see uh, what the prognosis is, what the progress and everything, oh. and, you know? This is good stuff. I can't believe you're going to be a grandma. This, this, I know. We've been through, in all seriousness, right, we've been through a lot Marriages, together. divorces, babies, growing up, adults, and now... A yeah. grandbaby. We've yes. been through a lot. And Pretty I'll be incredible. there with you when you get to your time too, honey. <laughs> yeah. Well, some way, somehow, you'll be there for sure. I'll, oh, I'll be there. I know you will. Uh, Candy 730 special song uh, on the way. Less than an hour to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We got a beautiful uh, number of days here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 78 to 82 in sunshine. The next five days, let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.